just gonna make some smoothie for my brekkie tomorrow and I'm gonna be using this by the soy milk Let's So my lunch is ready and I have some sandwich for tomorrow and the leftover meatloaf which I made today with the tea and I'm good to go. I'm just gonna have to prepare my cup and my coffee. So this is my daily routine before I go to work. So this is the night before I already prepared my lunch. So this is my breakfast with a piece of fruit. Now I'm gonna have maybe a pear. So let's go get the pear. This into little squares. So let's cut this into little squares, put in a container. And my smoothie is ready also in the fridge. And that's my lunch with just a little bit of veggies underneath and put in my bags and that's it so guys it's bedtime come on kids daddy you cut your shirt how daddy asked daddy question who, who cut your shirt it's gone no short. i asked her the question <laughs> who cut your shirt it's gone smooth no daddy so? I'm, no i'm i said i said Mm -hmm. Daddy, did you cut your shirt? Yeah. So it's bedtime here now, guys, and oh. we are getting ready for work tomorrow. And we're gonna brush, <coughs> brush, brush, brush our teeth. And I'm nine years old. Good night. Hi. I'm nine years old. So, guys, it's nine o'clock here, and I'm supposed to be sleeping at eight thirty, but I have to watch some videos of my favorite videos. And now, guys. It's bedtime for me, so I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Everybody. Ah, Good morning, guys. It's work time. Just gonna set my bags up and everything, and I'll take you with me to work today. So let's just turn our car on, it's so cold. Here we are, we get some light. Put the heater on a bit, because it's kind of chilly. Here we go. Seat belts on. So guys, this is my, my daily, no, not really my daily routine, but when I go to work, this is my normal routine. So that it's a bit cold and foggy this morning. So let's keep going. Lights on. So I'll take you with me to work today. <coughs> up and then he turned up on the intersection so I just let him go first and it's nearly summer here but it's still kind of chilly so the summer starts here um, 
November, I think, or December. December, January. No, November. No, not really November. I think December. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. <sighs> I didn't really have a good night's sleep last night because I don't know. I toss and turn. Wake up at four o'clock. But anyway, I still feel good because I went to bed at nine. I think nine. That was nine o'clock, and I was still watching YouTube. I answer some comments, and yeah, it's only fifteen minutes to work, so I don't really have to hurry. I usually go there. Oi, what? Oi, stupid thing. There's a car in front of me. It's supposed to supposed to give way. It didn't give way. It's supposed to stop there in the corner. So that's why you really have to be very careful here. <coughs> My throat feels so sore. I don't know why. What's wrong with this car? And there's actually a dog behind behind this uh, passenger seat. Gonna turn right here. Two cars are together, I think. One behind me and one in front. All the same. And stinks! Ooh. Diesel. So I'm gonna be in rehab unit today. So I hope I will have a good day. The last time I worked there was last Friday. When you do a rehab shift, you get a lot of um, stroke patients, like reconditioning, um, a lot of physio. The, the physiotherapist will do it, but you have to have get the re um, patients ready by um, in the morning for physio. But sometimes you can't really help it because they have breakfast at um, half past seven. Time they settled, finish eight o'clock. So we just do straight here. This is where I get the fine last time for hundred ninety nine dollars. <laughs> get a fine? Oh my god! I hope I'm not gonna do it again. So when we go to the main highway, I'm gonna turn you around. Reckless driver. There's McDonald's ahead, so <laughs> nah, I can't be bothered. I'm trying to be healthy <laughs> for once. Tomorrow I'm on my other job. Tomorrow, and two days there and back in here again, and Saturday, Sunday here, and on Tuesday. Kids have excursion, and also we are going to Mamba. So I'm looking forward to it for a change. I tried to put you over the front, but it didn't work. <laughs> Get my ID ready. Swag bag ready. I'm so crooked. <laughs> I'm not really good at parking, so <laughs> I have to go back up again. Perfect parking. <laughs> go, we are here. Arrived our destination. Now let's medicate. <laughs> I have to medicate myself or else I will be or else I'll be sniffling and sneezing inside so I got my nasal spray here we are gotta 
scissor, scissor, a pen, and, and also my other pen, which I don't know where. There it is. My good pen. A tape. Where's my tape? A tape. And of course, to start my day, I'm gonna have some dark chocolate. Just one. My lunch. Mm -hmm. Some hand cream before we start protect our hands from washing too much. Here comes the colors. My goal for the day is to finish one, three of these. But sometimes I don't get a chance to refill, so I just end up with one. And I feel so dehydrated after. <laughs> So this is just my temporary watch so it doesn't matter if it gets wet or anything because it's only cheap oh it's time 45 now mints so guys let's go i'll see you later home time guys Whew. Oh my god, it's a busy day. But I did manage. I was actually in a rehab today and um, see I didn't even finish my whole <coughs> water. <coughs> so now we're gonna go to the coals and we buy something for spaghetti. So guys it was a hectic day but it was all right a manageable so that's my day's work after eight hours now i'm going home i look so haggard Whew, and it's very hot it's actually 29 degrees today so yes let's go i'll see you guys at calls so guys just a recap on my day today um i'm in a rehab ward so the first thing we did was hand over for like 15 minutes and then bedside hand over and then after the bedside hand over then we do the planning the planner of the day and then after that we start our obs um, medications and after the medications um, they have the patients have breakfast so we usually it depends on the hospital you're working with we usually have four five patients but today we have extra so there's two staff for 11 patients so we have to share uh, we have to help each other with um, extra patients so after breakfast they will be going for hygiene like most of the patients in the rehab ward are like stroke patients yeah so they're more like with assistance like with minimum assist from minimum to maximum assist so people that are shower showering like you need to help them shower get dressed get ready because yeah it's, if you say stroke you we, we all know that they have um this um half of the body which is um left-sided or right-sided weakness so they really need assistance with adls so shower assistance with adls um and then they all ready for therapy, like they go to OT, uh, speech therapy, therapy physiotherapy, um, what else? Um, yeah, like all those things. Like they have appointment, like three appointments. Like every appointment is around um, half, half an hour or to an hour. So they go to therapy and everything. So after that, you will be doing... Um, the care plan while they are on the therapy session so you got that time to do your care plans and everything and then when you do your care plans you, um, you have um, before lunchtime you have some blood sugars to do like an insulins to do because the lunchtime usually comes at one o'clock so you have to do your um, blood sugars and if you have medications at 12 o'clock so but 
before that you're gonna have to have your break around half past nine or at 10 o'clock usually a 15 minute break and then at lunchtime maybe around half past 12 or one o'clock and then at half past one the afternoon staff comes in and then we have a handover bedside handover up at 2 30 and then after that you just answer buzzers and everything toileting because most of them wants to go to the toilet needs a pad change and everything so yeah that's roughly and aside from that you also have dressings to change if they have any wounds or anything some dressings and if you have to look at the notes the doctor's notes if they have new orders you have to carry out those orders before you go home like just like this morning i have orders for ecg um, urine sample or MSU have to send so I have to get those sample ECG blood test so I have to get the blood test from the peak line so those are the orders that are needs to be done after the doctor's round so the doctor's round is usually around um, <coughs> sorry excuse me around 10 o'clock 10 to 11 o'clock so they usually have that and also in rehab ward we have this case conference where all the the teams involved from physio to doctors to nurses to OT to speech um, even the people that will help them when they go home is all included in the care so we have those case conference that's around maybe two minutes per patient or two to five minutes per patient and depends on the on their cases so yeah that's roughly it and then at half past two we have a bedside handover and then yeah just waiting time for um, home time so usually quarter past three we usually get out of the door but today it's a bit late because we're missing a key so we cannot go home if we we don't have all the keys in so a bit late today so I got out about half past three so yeah I'm here now at cold so that's roughly what happens in a rehab ward so it is more more hands-on like manual handling because most of them uses lifter commode um, walkers and everything so it's not as complex as in medical ward but it's more physically exhausting at the end of the shift so I think I had a, I have a video about the medical ward shift I had and I put a link here if you want to check it out so yeah this is roughly the summary of my rehab shift for today and I hope you enjoy this video guys it's tea time in the fiscalist family and we're gonna have some spaghetti and hubby's cooking tea time and we are having spaghetti spaghetti Mmm. Mmm. That's it.